Hi, my name is Sam, and today we're going to learn how to create a two-sided clipping plane, which allows you to easily transition between two different visualizations. All right, so first, we're going to click Open Data, and we're going to go down to Tutorials, and we're going to go down to Chocolate Bar, just like that. So Avisa will automatically create an ortho slice for us, but we don't actually want an ortho slice. We want a volume rendering and an ISO surface. So we're going to click Volume Rendering, and we're going to search for ISO surface, just like that. And we're going to click Apply, and there we go. So now we have both volume rendering and an ISO surface. So next, we're going to create three more modules. So we're first going to create a boundary box. And then we're going to create two clipping planes, just like that, and like that. So now we have a volume rendering, ISO surface, boundary box, and two clipping planes. All right. So the first step in this is we're going to first clip the volume rendering. So to do that, I'm going to select the volume rendering and then click H. So what that does is it hides everything except for the volume rendering. You can either hide this by clicking H or by going through and clicking these blue rectangles, just like that. So once we have everything hidden except for the volume rendering, we're going to go to clipping plane and we're going to click on this clip button, just like that. So now the volume rendering is clipped. Next, we're going to go to the ISO surface and then click H again. So this will now hide everything except for the ISO surface. And then we're going to go into clipping plane two and we're going to click clip until we have the other side shown. So now if we show the volume rendering and the ISO surface at the same time, we can see that we have the ISO surface on the right and the volume rendering on the left. And let's display the boundary blocks and the clipping planes. But one thing to note is if I change the clipping plane of one, it doesn't change the clipping plane of the other. So the next step we need to do is we need to link the two clipping planes together. More specifically, we need to link the translate percentage option together. So to do this, we want to go and click on the connection editor. And you can do this in either clipping plane, it doesn't matter. And we want to just take this link and drag it to the other clipping plane, just like that. So now it's created this blue line from clipping plane to clipping plane two, and you can see the chain link together in both of the translate lines. So now when I move the clipping plane on one, it moves the clipping plane on the other, just like that. So now that we've done the basic concept, I'm gonna show you how to animate it. So we're gonna to go to the animation tab, and we're going to first set the animation length to just six seconds, and we're gonna name the animation clipping plane just like that, we need to animate the translate percentage. So to do that, we we'll want to click on the time dial next to the translate, and it created a keyframe at time zero, and we want this to be at translate percentage zero, just like that. Then when we get to second six, we want it to be at 100%. So we want to move translate percentage to 100%, and then add another keyframe. Perfect. So now it's created an animation just like that and we can play it, and it will gradually transition between the ISO surface and the volume rendering. You can combine this with other animations to really make your visualizations pop. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.